YouTube, welcome or welcome back. My name is Jody, and I run this book library YouTube channel with sprinkles of climbing. But yes, um, last day of April was apparently independent bookstore month. The local bookstores around where I live, which is Northern Virginia, is doing a little fun activity where I think they call it they're calling it Nova Bookstore Crawl, where you can visit each bookstore and get a stamp on a passport. And after a certain number of stamps, you can get prizes. Ooh, and you know, we love prizes. <laughs> so uh, I think after visiting four local bookstores and getting four stamps, you can choose an advanced reader copy of your choice of a book. And then four stamps after that, so eight stamps, or visiting eight bookstores, you can get a free tote bag. And then if you uh, get 10 stamps or visit 10 bookstores, you'll enter a raffle for a grand prize and each bookstore will like chip in a prize for this gift basket, which I don't think I'm gonna get 10 stamps because you have to visit a lot of bookstores and some of the bookstores are really far away from me. So we'll see, but I think I'll try to aim for that free tote bag and I've never read an advanced reader copy of a book ever. So I think that would be a really cool opportunity for myself. Thought I would do a video of me going to each of these bookstores, checking them out, just giving a shout out to the local bookstores around me in Virginia. And maybe if you ever visit Virginia, Northern Virginia, you can check out some of these bookstores. <sighs> Classic Jody procrastinating on filming again, hence why I'm in a different location and look different, but onwards. This video will probably be split in two parts because it requires me to visit multiple bookstores and I've only visited four so far, so this will only be covering the four or three bookstores that I filmed and visited. Here is the passport for the bookstore crawl. You can see it here. So cute. I picked it up from my local bookstore, which is Bard's Alley, which is this one. And um, I actually didn't capture any footage there. So I'll probably visit Bard's again as my last store because I kind of want the tote bag from my local bookstore. I'll talk about that bookstore later. Today, I will go through the other bookstores that I visited and the books that I bought from those bookstores. So the first, Chesty, don't ruin the footage. All right, so technically the second. The second bookstore I visited was Fonts, Books and Stores. And this one had a cute little like raven stamp over here. This one is located in McLean, Virginia. I believe it opened pretty recently according in reviews last November-ish. The website didn't have much about its origins. It was a very nice bookstore, very spacious. I visited this one with Sammy two, last weekend. And I really love it when bookstores have their staff write little snippets of the books that are on their shelves or even like if it was their favorite book. It just adds a lot of like character and charm to the bookstore itself. And I think a lot of bookstores, not just independent bookstores, have been doing it recently. I've seen these little snippets and blurbs even at Barnes & Noble, but I just think it's a really nice addition to bookstores when the staff add their own color to the books. Fonts Bookstore had a pretty good volume and variety. The whole back section of the bookstore, bookstore seemed to be dedicated to fiction and then the front had an area for nonfiction and a small little reading nook slash shelves for children and children books. They also had this super these super cute stickers and look at this cute tote bag. It's like bookish cats and I sadly held myself from purchasing it, but maybe in the future. This is where I purchased The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang for a NHPI month, and which I also lent to Tiffany. Also, this is where I purchased uh, In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. I read this book already and I originally borrowed it from the library, but I finally purchased my own copy when I saw it at the bookstore. So now I have my own copy. The next two bookstores I actually visited 
this past weekend with my friend Christine and we chose these two because they were in close proximity to each other. One's in Reston and one's in Herndon, Virginia, if you're familiar with Northern Virginia. The first one we visited is Scrawl Books. It's in Reston, Virginia and this was actually a struggle to find. It's located in a town center and I've been to this town center before. This is Reston Town Center but it's quite large and the part where it's located in the town center I've never been to so we walked in a circle around it and then we finally found it tucked away in this little nook of the town center but yes we found it eventually. Scrawl Books bookstore was pretty big I would say it's definitely one of the larger independent bookstores I've been to. This was also the first bookstore I've been to where the shelves literally reached the ceiling and there was like a shelf literally right by the ceiling with a stack of books. So that was pretty cool. Their website says they opened their first shop at Whaley, Whaley Metro in November 2015. And now they're located in Reston Town Center. So I guess they moved either recently or in the past few years. Their website also says, Scrawl Books offers a thoughtful and relevant selection of new books for children, teens, and adults in a welcoming space where people can browse, gather, and explore new ideas. We support local literacy efforts and freedom of speech and strive to reflect and contribute to the diversity of Reston and Herndon and the surrounding area. Owner Rachel Wood is a librarian and Reston resident with more than 20 years experience connecting books with people. So I really love the origins and what they do for the community. Also female owned. So I got two books from here, both recommended by my friend Christine. There's so often this weekend where we'd be in the bookstore and she's like, oh I read this, I read this, I read this, I recommend this. I'm glad that I asked her to do this with me because I got a lot of good recommendations. Two books she recommended from uh, Scrawl was A Man or Educated and A Man Called Ove. These two. This is the one I picked up first. This one, Christine was like, do you like cults or stories about cults? I don't know if it focuses specifically about a cult when I was reading the summary, but it's about Tara Westover. I believe she grew up in a Mormon, survivalist Mormon family. And it goes over her overcoming, growing up in such a secluded family or community and then going outside of that and pursuing education and learning basically history and everything she was not taught growing up. This one seemed very interesting and it says one of President Obama's favorite books of the year so high praise. Second book I got is A Man Called Ove and I actually Ove? Ove? I actually recognize this one because there is a movie that came out recently with Tom Hanks, I think called A Man Called Odo, which is probably based off of this book. This is actually a novel written by a Swedish author, so I think originally a Swedish book translated in English. Christine described this as very touching and heartfelt and something that I would feel happy being left happy after finishing it. I always need a book like that after some of these heavy hitting books. Those are the two books from Scrawl Books. And this is the sticker I got from there. Isn't it so freaking cute? It's a screaming chicken. So cute. The second and last bookstore we went to was A Thousand Stories located in Herndon, Virginia. This one we rushed to because we didn't realize it was closing at 5 p.m. And I think we arrived two minutes before 5 p.m. at like 4.48 and we ran in, but then we realized it wasn't closed and it didn't look like it was closing anytime soon. So I got pretty lucky in terms of making it in time. A Thousand Stories was by far the smallest bookstore, but it had its own charm and coziness and personality. It was a really nice bookstore. This bookstore was also attached slash part of a larger building that promoted and sold local artists and artwork and their crafts. I think the building or area is called Arts Herndon. From the website, it looks like it's owned by two women, Michelle and Beth, both moms who love reading and we love supporting female owned businesses around here. So huge shout out to them for 
uh, deciding to open and partner, yeah, partner and open their own bookstore. Although it is pretty small, I feel like they had some staple books and also recently published books. The one I'm thinking of is, um, I saw Emily Henry's funny story being promoted on one of their bookshelves and I noticed they had a huge section slash shelves dedicated to children, teen, and like young adult books and a lot of cute plushies, but it did seem more like kid focused, but they did have some shelves for like adult fiction and non-fiction, I believe is what I remember. I bought two books from here. I, it should be these two, this one, A State of Terror and Checkmate by Allie Hazelwood, which is over there. These two, very different <laughs> book genres. This one's like a YA romance and this one's a thriller. This one, Christine recommended to me as a thriller where Louise Penny partnered with Hillary Clinton to write. So pretty interested to see the writing and the story of this one, especially since I haven't read much American thriller. I recently finished The Plotters by Eunsoo Kim. This is a Korean thriller. So it'll be interesting to see how it differs. And the second book I got from here was Check and Mate, a YA romance by Allie Hazelwood. I didn't have the best experience with the love hypothesis. I just felt like it was too rushed. And yeah, I just feel like the romance was too abrupt in Love Hypothesis. So I'm hoping this one's a little more of a slow burn. And looks like it's chest related. And I feel like because it's a YA romance, it'll be more wholesome, which I feel like I've been reading too many spicy novels lately, so this will be good for me. <laughs> so yeah, those are, these are, these are the books I got this weekend, and then two books from last weekend. And the stamp I got um, was just a little, little star stamp. Yep, got a good pile of books to read in the coming months. My ever-growing TBR, physical TBR. Excited to check out four more bookstores this month and support my locally owned independent bookstores in Virginia. If you're ever in Virginia, you should check these out because they're cute. You're supporting a good, supporting a good business and you know, everyone could do with more books. All right, well, thanks for joining me for this part one of this book crawl series. See you in part two in like two weeks, probably. Bye. Oui.